once the uh, bind process, once you completed the bind process on the T1000 AR8000 telemetry DSMX to confirm everything's working, turn on your radio. Slide it left to right, it will not show anything. Leave your radio on, connect your battery. You shouldn't do this if you haven't done it before with propellers on. Just be careful. You go to your radio and we've got telemetry just roll to the right shows telemetry roll again to the right where you've got voltage rpms and temperature here's my temperature 82 degrees and my sensor is wrapping around number two motor that's going into the TM1000 no, I don't need RPMs. Go to the right again. There's your flight log. Battery receiver voltage on the DX8. There's telemetry voltage on 11.7. That is the main power source LiPo with the uh, 82 degrees. Roll again to the right. There's altitude. Altitude and speed. I don't know if the speed's going to work, but I definitely wanted the altitude. And here's the altimeter right here. Okay. So you scroll again to the right. Breakdown of everything there. Altitude, temperature, speed, uh, receiver, voltage. And G-Force. I don't know if that's an add-on or something that I can work. I uh, haven't figured that out yet, but uh, I don't really care about that. Scroll back to the left, and you get back to the main screen. If you power up your radio after installing these three units, especially the altimeter, and you don't see it, you don't see this setting, you have to. Let me unplug the or unplug the unit. And if you can see, this was live, so you got to be careful. See that? Well, don't do this at home. You've never done it before. All right, now. We are disconnecting the hex, turning off the radio, and to find if you have, or to change your settings for altimeter, push down the scroll wheel and turn on the unit. Push down, turn on the unit, that gets you the system setup, scroll down, All the way to telemetry, push the roller, and here's all the different functions that are available. You can highlight each one. If it reads empty, like number seven, just push it and scroll to the right, and those are all the available options. Okay. And that's it. That's all you need to do to set it. Get all your settings and uh, make maximum use of the, uh, of the radio. Keep track of volts, distance, everything you need. 
get back out to the uh, scroll up to the top list and that's it main screen and you're all set ready to go and remember again you're not going to get any telemetry readings here until the uh, receivers are on peace